Hello everybody, it's the Met Haven here today, and we're going to be taking a look at the update. Wow. That was, uh, pretty fast in my end, right? That was, uh, just immediately straight, straight to the topic. So, uh, there's a couple of things that, uh, I'm going to be going over about the new tank coming into the game. And starting off, we're going to be looking at Refresh Your Grotch with these spring cells. I swear, there's like a cell every single month. Um, new comp Panzer 07RH. Chase them down couple of things to talk about on this thing. St. Patrick's Day, uh, in all honesty. If you guys want to try and go for it, look at this guy. Isn't he just beautiful? Alright, enough of the, uh, the mockery. I'm pretty sure that data will not install on your brain. Um, alright. Other than that, the new compounds are 07 RH. Uh, chase them down. A couple of things that I want to go over. Between, alright, a cross between a medium and a light tank. Uh... No. No, it's not. Um, sure, it's got decent power to weight, you know, in the 23 range. It's good, decent all around. Armor-wise, not exactly the greatest. Um, I actually uh, decided to take some time out before I started recording today. I'm going to go live. We're looking at 75, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 75. Top plate at 115, low plate at 115. 75 millimeters of side armor, 75 millimeters of side armor, decent amounts. What is on the lower part here? 20. And there's no side scraping in, it, in this, because look at that slant there on the rear. Ooh, that's going to play against you a lot. Uh-oh. Well, if I see these things side scraping, I know where I'm going to be aiming. Right at the rear. There you go, 20 millimeters. There's a weak spot. That's only if it's side scraping against here. I wonder if you can angle the turret just right. This is against AP. Yeah, there's... There's no defending this tank or side scraping with it. Uh, other than that, you can aim directly in here, break the gun, break the gun, overmatch the roof, 25 millimeters. You got some 80 up in the top. Wait, what was that 80? Actually, we're going to switch this over to collision. There we go. There's the 80. There's the, that's a funky looking turret. And is it oscillating? Ah, oh, it is an oscillating turret. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. It's going to have some good reload times. Alrighty, back to the tank, back to everything that is considered brain. Okay, alright, use your speed to get into an optimal position early. This tank is excellent for flanking your opponents. See an enemy tank that's been separated from its team? Um, <laughs> with your agility and rate of fire, you can easily run circles around it, uh, whittle it down its hit points. Um, keep in mind... They did not include anywhere in here that you are going to kill it because you are going to die. You do have a decent amount of health at 1,350. Um, that is the PC, of course, not the console version. Whoa, it jumps. I don't like that. Uh, keep sending shots towards the enemies. Um, you've got the rate of fire to cover your teammates uh, the, the moment they might need it most. Not to mention, down at the bottom left here, I have it highlighted. 80 rounds of ammunition. That's a lot of ammo. Um, so, uh, you get an AP round. You also get a 255 heat penetration um, heat round. 205 AP. It's a 90 millimeter gun. All right, there we go. Matchmaking. Blaze up to tier 10, of course. When was the last time they released a preferential matchmaking thing? Silver bonus, 50%. Nice. Vehicle XP bonus, 10%. Nice. Uh, hit points, yes. 1,350, 700 horsepower. Power to weight, 23.33. Is that similar to PC? Uh... I use this all the time, and I'm still a Muppet. But yes, it is exactly the same as PC. Uh, reload time in PC is 4.8 seconds. Honestly, we do have brothers. There's a way of born leader in uh, rapid loading, so I guess this doesn't really matter anymore because we can get that reloads. Uh, speed limit 65, 25 reverse speed. That's going to be really nice to play with here, but you have no armor to really utilize this. A uh, little bit of top bar. No, no top bar. 25. Halt reverse speed, 55 degrees per second. Uh, okay, you're telling us the halt reverse speed. Where is the terrain resistance? You are not going to tell us, are you? So, sure, you can tell us this, and you can tell us tra traverse speed, but you can't tell us before it's officially released what the freaking terrain resistance is. Okay, if PC statistics are anything to go off of, we're probably going to be expecting, like, maybe a 0.6, a 0.8, and, like, 2.6. <laughs> it's going to be horrid. Off-road driving in this is definitely going to be needed. I love PC, how they actually tell you what soft terrain top speed is. Uh, 40.37. We might be seeing that as well, depending on what our uh, 
terrain resistances here in the soft, but uh, off-road driving is definitely going to be needed. All right. So gun depression, we're going to be looking at 9 degrees, gun elevation 15 degrees, penetration to a 5 to 55. And here's the icing on the top that they're actually doing for once. I kind of wish they did it to the Senlac, but no, they gave it some grenade launcher because I thought it was going to be too overpowered. Uh, 90 millimeters of uh, high explosive pin that do 320 alpha. It's kind of the biggest thing about the same. Aim time, 1.7 seconds. Uh, accuracy, 0.35. I don't care about the base accuracy. Statistics I want to see before the tank's released is movement and turret rotation accuracy. Base accuracy, they can keep hidden until the actual version of the tank releases. But knowing if we need vertical stabilizers does not makes a big difference. Uh, rate of fire, 11.54 rounds per minute. So we have a 0.4 second increase in the reload time. Um... I'm probably not going to be using a gun rammer on this tank, and that's guaranteed. Damage per minute, 2,308 starting off, 80 rounds max capacity. Here we go, we have shell type AP, 962, heat at 870, HE at 853. That's three different... Oh, that's going to be obnoxious trying to fire all these. Um, 853, it's decent, not super bad. 390 view range is going to be pretty nice, uh, 750 signal range. Along with that, the Refresher Garage, I actually haven't even read over this. Originally, I went over the um, Compon 07 coming into the game because that was one that actually had more of a value to me than the new, uh, yeah, the tanks that they're selling again. Ah, oh, oh, the start of the spring, the Northern Hemisphere. Soon the bees will be buzzing, the flowers will be blooming. I'm trying to think, do I have any flowers around me? No, I have a lot of, like, dandelions. And that just makes me think of Ice Age. It's the last dandelion. Ha, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> and you'll be crushing your opponents under 50 tons of <laughs> virtual steel with the vehicles you grab from this year's spring cell. And the tanks aren't <laughs> all we're offering. Take a look below at the special avail <laughs> spe specials available to you for the next two weeks. Setting up for success, cosmetics, equipment, and free XP. Speaking of what's the free XP, um, this has already been applied early from 25 to 32. So if you guys are looking to get some, uh, you know, get that free XP in right now, right now would be the best time to do it because essentially it's like you put four gold in. It's equivalent to five. It's just one gold less per five, which, I mean, you're spending like 10,000 free XP tier 10s, so it's not like a big problem. Uh, Multi-tank bundles. Okay, which uh, what kind of multi are we talking about here? Because you use multi a lot. Uh, tanks for free XP. This is a big one. If you guys have some free XP stacked up, kind of makes me sad that I have like everything that's essentially come out in the game, and I'm never, never able to use tanks for free XP. Read on, Commander. All right, setting up success, cosmetics. Okay, so you repeat yourself again. You did this last week. You're going to do it again. Uh, just as feathers are to birds, to a bird, uh, so en enhancements like cosmetics and equipment you are, are your favorite, are, are to your favorite tank. Why am I struggling so much? My brain just went smooth. Super smooth. We've also have a free XP conversion bonus. You just mentioned it again, but this time you're saying it like it's like saying now. But the thing is, now is over because now was just a moment ago, but now is over, and then now it's now. So now, now is now. It, it's just it's rephrasing. It's it's completely useless wording. Uh, sorry, had to get that off my chest. It was kind of funny to me. Uh, <laughs> to use on the upgrade vehicle of your choice. Okay, whatever. Uh, from 1 gold for, to 32 free XP. Okay, that doesn't help. What was the base? You should tell people on the website what the base was. 25% discount on all equipment. Nice. Where was that 50 that we were promised a while back? I guess maybe not. All right, ranged power. Let's take a look at the ranged power. Actually, just go ahead and expand all of them. Uh, Demolisher T28, the equalizer. That's disgusting. And then the S1. Ranged power. I don't know if I agree with this. I mean, this is okay. This is dumb. Uh, T28 Demolisher. That's a crew trainer. What's up with them giving out all the crew trainers now? Those are supposed to be like yearly bundle cells. Uh, the Hawk 30 for the flexible, flexible offense. Nice. You just labeled it. I mean, Hawk 30 technically is like a medium on crack, uh, with light tank statistics. Uh, Inferno Chimera. Why can't you guys just sell the regular Chimera, not the Inferno? I enjoy seeing that one a lot more than I do the Inferno one, that 50 millimeters of space armor. And then the Hydra IS-6. 
Seriously, does the Crimson Pack like not have any value anymore? Is it not once a year? Because this is 75% um, silver urn right here and a decent tank. Honestly, though, I would have to argue that due to the speed in this, that bonus is not exactly worth it. Charging powerhouse, the low... <laughs> The Kree events. Okay, I agree with the Kree events. But the low? Charging powerhouses. The low. That doesn't come to my mind whenever I think of like charging powerhouse. I think of like the E75 TS. Like Kree events and E75 TS would have made sense on this. But the low? I'm sorry. I love making fun of their names because they love to do this. Flanking lessons. So are you just trying to make people have a bad day? The A32 medium tank, tier 6. <laughs> the Loza M4A2 Sherman. The literal worst of all of them because it has the same penetration and the worst power to weight. Uh, I'm laughing at that one. And European flankers. General T27, I agree with that. Uh, tier 8 Strav 81 medium tank. No. No, that has got horrible concealment. You're going to be spotted like 380 meters out there. You are done. The art of scouting. Okay, they could have easily put the uh, Chromo B. Okay, I guess that makes sense, but the Hawk 30 could have fit in here without a problem. Okay, free XP prices. Miniman, 136,000. Citadel Tiger, do not buy this tank. You'll be hating yourself. 70,000. Uh, Strum, VK36 is to 105. 82,000, not bad. The M4A2E4 Ripper, uh, that's a tier 5. I would actually recommend to stay away from this one just because its penetration is super bad. It's a preferential matchmaking tank. Reverend Craft Panther for 124000 If you guys want to get this, if you already didn't earn it on Halloween, uh, <laughs> British Bulldog Churchill tier Churchill 7, 127200 I actually can't remember what this tank was. Is this a heavy? It is a heavy. And it is a tier four, six, four. Sorry, I get the VI. I think that's a Jesus. It's a tier six. Okay, leave me alone. It's one of those days. That would be way too much penetration for tier four anyways. Yeah, that's tier six. So a couple of pref tanks. I guess not bad. Fresher garage. Uh, Cromwell B, that's... Hold on. Cromwell B. Well, this might be an oversight, but there's also the Cromwell B instead of a pack that you can purchase. So imagine that you buy this, and then not just that, you also have just barely free XP'd the Cromwell B. Uh, that's a bit of oversight. So we got the Hidden, the Stug 3, Tier 5, E25, Highly Concealed TD at Tier 7, Sherman Firefly Boilermaker, 75,000. I would actually recommend this. If any of you guys have been saving up free XP to be able to get a tank, this uh, Boilermaker is fantastic just because of its penetration for its tier. And then its detectability is not bad either, but honestly, this is just really good for penetration-wise. Uh, MX Chaffee, if you guys want to run out of ammunition 24-7, get a 6-round clip with 48 rounds, and then you are spent. And then the tank that continues to cure, kill tier 5 every single time they sell it. The com the freaking PZ54. Every single time they sell this, it just kills. Uh, yeah, see, this is the tank that every single time they sell it, it makes new players not want to play the game because they have no idea what they're going up against. Okay. Other than that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna play a match. Uh, so the Compounder Seven, one of the tanks I could find that was really close to its stationary camo at 14.36 was actually the Panzer 58 Mutz at 14.14 over on PC. So usually our concealments, it's not much of a big difference here. And to give you guys an idea, the Lance and C that can maintain like a 264 concealment as a 16.87 starting off along with the uh, T44-100. So whenever it comes down to it, the way that they describe this tank being kind of a light tank, uh, it is labeled as a sniper over on PC, especially in the Discord groups that talk about it and all the competitive communities that talk about this tank. It is more of a sniper than it is anything else in the game. Because, yes, its camo is not the greatest. Uh, it's okay, but it's not the greatest. I'm More than likely, my setup on the tank is going to be optics, ventilation, and camouflage net because you really don't want to get spotted with no armor 
Uh, penetration wise, it's going to be good. 5.3 second reload. Uh, we're probably going to be able to get that down to like 4.3, maybe even a 3.9. 3.9 at like the absolute, like literal, just guessing by this point with math off the top of my head. And that's about it. I almost forgot about the battle kiwi. All right, so I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to mention it. I mean, we probably already mentioned a couple of things. I'm against tens on Himmelsdorf instead of a tank that is not exactly the most armored thing in the game. Um. Okay, this is going to be something I don't want to experience. I also don't want to get shot by... Oh, thank God there's no AVRE inside here. I guess it's going to be mild matchmaking. But concealment-wise, if you guys are looking to make a concealment build in the... um. The new compounds are coming out, the 07 RH. I would have to say this would probably be the, uh... This would be about the consumer that you're going to be expecting from the tank. 255 pins, not exactly bad. Especially since it's a heat pin round. That is going to be really nice to have. Uh, we're probably going to get snapshot. No. Nice. Let's go ahead and back up. I don't get shot right there. Use a little bit of the trains. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to be fantastic. I actually think I might want to go back in the city and play around inside the, um... Inside there. I'll go shots hit the sign. Beautiful. Should be just outside his view range right here. Nope. We are definitely not. We are gonna... Is that the T-62A? He was close, okay. Nice. Two hundred and sixty-eight. I gotta say the Panzer 7 since they did the um two hundred and eighty alpha on this tank, it, it's made a big difference with the way it performs. They didn't change the reload or anything, they just gave it two eighty alpha. And then said good day. So, I actually might have to do some shot dispersions between the, uh, the new Panzer 7 coming, well, the Comp Panzer 7 coming out. The RH, the 07, you know, the salute tank. <laughs> actually, that's perfect, salute tank. 07, Commander. Um, I might have to do some shot differences between this, the Panzer, uh, yeah, between the 07 and the, uh, Panzer 58 Mutz to see if which one gets spotted depending on the gun, since... The other one is going to be sporting a 200 alpha rather than a 240, which is normally the average for 90. So there is that. Let's go ahead and pull up. Let's see if we can get some shots on this uh, STB. Should be. Should not be able to. Really slow game. Sorry, YouTube doesn't appreciate gore. So I took out the last part uh, to give you guys an idea, though. I did get two shot by a Waffly 100. Yeah, you can guess where that went. Anyways, top tier Pilsen. Alrighty. Uh, maybe a hard rush to uh, A4. Open the left side here and let's see if we can get there. It, w it would make the most sense, though, that the, um, the 07 RH coming into the game is going to be... Uh, Probably has some better shot factor than most of its uh, tanks instead of its class, and that could be one of the biggest advantages. And the way to counter that would be to not give it as good as still concealment. So, I'll have to do some testing on that tomorrow night. More than likely, I'm going to be recording my gameplay of that tank and uh, doing a first impression on it with the first couple of matches. So, there is that. And... Go ahead and pull down. Super relaxed today. It's a good day. Panther. And we're detected from the T. No, we're not. It's from the Skoda. Ooh, that's a T-56. want to be a little bit careful. And hello, artillery. Two hundred seventy-seven. Kind of want to aim for his tracks. Scratch that. What's passing back up? 
We hit the tracks, but we did not. I mean, we went underneath them. There we go. Let's go to T56. Hopefully a load in time. I'm probably going to take a big boy hit. Or not. Okay, I'm actually doing... I'm lucky right now. Lucky that everyone was all like, Hey, we're not even going to pay attention to you. Kind of wondering. But I, uh, do I feel okay? Uh, a little bit. 302. Good roll. Oop, I love Borsig. Anybody got time for that? Alrighty, no more polling. T32, that was a premium. That was definitely a red APCR. Hey, look, the list is respectable. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. The T32 Proto does have a three-shot autoloader, so it makes sense that he would be one of the guaranteed those pins. Just like me, shooting through the indestructible uh, base box that they have placed in, like, four places around the map, because it's just... They're all the same maps with different programming. Uh, you gonna pull? No? Okay. So, what are we gonna do? Oh, like T341, he's out in the open. Ah, wait, there's nothing entertaining about this. Need the Russian. We gotta, we gotta do something. But fantastic. Let's see if that scorpion wants to join us in rushing that uh, T32. Maybe not. I'm actually might jump in the rear of him. I cannot remember the uh, premium penetration of this. I do know that the T32 Proto has uh, 38 millimeters of rear armor, though. Oh, I overpulled. That tells you how much attention I'm paying today. Watch your six. Well, I wasn't watching my front, my 12, or my nine. <laughs> Alrighty. And as soon as we're reloaded, he's going to be dead, unless he dies prior. Either or. That looks like a dirt. Hey, look, our tailor got balanced. Well. Not bad, 1709, I mean, I'm happy I didn't shoot any premium. Not to mention, more than likely, I'm going to be doing a size comparison of the uh, Companzer 07 RH, because depending on the size of the tank, you're going to be able to utilize some larger bushes in, ga in game. If it's on the smaller end of the German tanks, which I'm kind of hoping it is, you'll be able to fit it inside the bush located in H4. And if you can, that top speed's going to allow you to get there really quick. And I actually kind of want to try it inside this tank and see how well the still concealment adds up. I mean, there is a chance that uh, the moving concealment on the uh, Compound 07 will be a little bit better than this one. Depending on its size. I actually have no idea what the factors are for uh, still and moving concealment for medium tanks. I know that some have really good tight dispersions whenever it comes down to their moving concealment. And that silent driving on them isn't as useful as it could be on other tanks, but at the same time... It is a 50-50. This one goes 50, 65. Will definitely be nice to make it to that bush. If you guys have ever seen anyone play this, I will actually be surprised because it's very rare to see anyone trying to pass the scout anymore. Well, fingers crossed. We'll see how this uh, works out. As you guys can see, this thing's freaking huge. I doubt it'll work out the exact way that I want it to. But you're able to spot over here on the right side. Enemies coming up. You're able to spot out everyone pulling up right here on the left. However, if I fire from here, I actually don't trust it. There we go. We popped a consumable. We spotted him out. If I would have fired, I would have been getting shot by him and detected. There we go. Compounds are 105. These guys are not used to getting spotted right here. Astron Rex, SU 130 PM. Super Hellcat. I didn't spot the Super Hellcat though. I'm actually. No, maybe I did. Uh, pull a little bit forward. Might be a little bit too far, but 
Maybe. The bush is kind of covering us, but our rear is partially exposed. If there's two bushes right here, the spot would be amazing for medium tanks. But I mean, starting off, it's okay. Super Hellcat pulling back up. T41E1. What's the distance here? 344. I am not safe to fire. But I can become safe to fire. we go, Ashran Rex. It's going to back up right here. Wait for the bush to go solid. We're going to bounce. Turret's hit, though. Getting an assist off that. Good little push line right here. That is what I want to take down. Ooh, that shell grazed his turret. Super close, but not close enough. Okay. Melanovka, that position, if you can get a light tank in there early, um, it's kind of a 50-50 depending on how many enemies come this way, but it can be one of the most aggressive scouting positions for this map because you're able to spot out every single target coming across, and you guys all know how bad it is to get spotted crossing right there. We're actually going to take our time right here. There we go. 248. A little bit slower AP rounds in this tank, but not bad. Ooh, that dispersion value played against me like no other. A little bit of thick armor there. One hit point left. Nice. One hit point. What do we got? Beach party pulling up. That's another 280 alpha. Let's go ahead and pull in this Astron, see if we can hit him. Put a shot in the Super Hellcat, get a little bit of lead here. Probably went above him. Three hundred and nine. I gotta say, the two eighty alphas—they feel really good for what they're able to do. Take it a little bit slow right here. Pushing up top. More than likely, we're gonna be trying to take down that uh, Compunzer one hundred five over here on the left. Kind of want to take down the Super Hellcat as soon as I can. There we go. Make a little bit of a push right here, because that 105... Yeah, he's still up. There you are, and you're still Amorak, too. Okay. Still spotted, but not worried about it. I got a lot of hit points to spare. And I'm going to load in the premium rounds. It is 7 to 5. I mean, technically, we should win this without much of an issue. Depending on the hit points we have. 841. 1015. Good concealment. Moderate armor. Moderate armor. 660. Well, 661. They still have a 10-shot autoloader up. And now I wish I had some more HE loaded. Tiger P's having a little bit of an issue right here. Gotta make this peak fast. 405, good high explosive pin. 379. Nice, there we go. 4 to 4. 3 to 4. Mm -hmm. Type 59, there's the uh, Earth Shaker. Actually, might want to get some distance, because distance might be the best way to play right now. There we go, 
use this bush. We're gonna get outspotted by the Earthshaker. It's always nice. Stravess one behind us. Good hits. T77. What is that? Type 59 still full health. I'm actually gonna go ahead and let this guy know that I am uh where is it, Daner? You are. I didn't want to tell him to fall back. I'm falling back. We're going to pull in to this bush right here. Okay, T-77 is not going to be fun. T-77 is going to find himself in a massive reload, though, so I think going up to the Type 59 might be a good idea. Type 59's in their armor. 267. And the amount of doubt that I have is tremendous. Oh. Team pushed up way too much. Tiger P should have stayed back. Honestly, we should have went for the base and went for the cap to guarantee that. Oh, that's a devastating loss. Ah, oh, but 4,000... Uh, we'll just round it off. 4,500 combined. And I didn't fire a whole lot of premium either. And then whenever I was auto-locking, by the way, guys, don't do auto-locking. Plays against you every single time. Anyways, um, the update tomorrow, new tank coming in. Kind of excited about that tank coming in. And uh, for anyone who actually made it to the end of the video... Let's actually give away a Compound 07. If you guys want it and you're playing on Xbox, leave your gamer tag down in the comments section. Make sure that you have me added in game. And I will go through randomly and select one random person. There is no drawing. There's nothing. I'm just going to read through it. Select one random person from the top of my head and go, huh, I don't think I've seen his tag before. Here we go. Other than that, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for and you know enjoying what I've been putting out and trying to put out. Trying. Trying. Yeah, trying. Um, other than that, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Seriously, leave a comment. It's always appreciated. Likes are just as much appreciated. Uh, other than that, see you next time. I am going to play some Halo Wars 2 on my PC because I downloaded it and I kind of want to try it out. I'm just really confused about buttons. That's about it.